Hello my friends, this is Arvid from Arvid Official and this is my first video about my Gumball Zone. Before I start I will tell you what my channel is about. My channel is about reviews from medieval products for lab, sword fencing, reenactment, board. Today I will do a review about my Gumbazone. Here you can see it. Yeah, first I will tell you what the Gumbazone is. The Gumbazone is a pedalet jerking you wear as an alone standing armor, then it's really thick, or you wear it as a second layer under your plate or brigantine armor or under the chainmail. Yeah, my Gumbazong is a second layer of armor. I ordered my Gumbazong 2017 from Zeughaus. It's a website or an online shop for lab and exhibition uh, fight or medieval stuff. And the material is 85% cotton and some leather stripes and metal parts. First I will tell you something about the history of the Gambazon. There it was a little bit difficult to research because I don't find some really, or really sources. And when I find something serious about the other parts of the armor I will review or the other products, I will tell you. And the first Gambesongs came out in Europe at the 10th century. They're mostly a thick Gambesongs as textile armor, but also if you wealthy, you wear it with a chainmail above it. And in the 13th, 14th century, there goes thinner and you wear it under your plate armor or brigantine armor but there are also as an alone standing armor it damps hits or strikes with light weapons for example swords from wood steel or plastic and there are no protection against thrusting or heavy hits with swords, maces and axes and yeah the gambazong covered the whole torso, the butt, the tights and the arms but it don't cover the armpit and there is less pedaling around the elbow and the forearm and the shoulder. 
so you have to pay attention where the enemy hits you. <laughs> The mobility is very good. If you are a little bit trained, you can wear it like you wear nothing. It's lightweight, only 4 kg. And yeah, especially you can do really good movements with your arms because there is nothing under the armpit that holds you back. The handling and the work of the gambeson. The handling is really good. You can go put it on yourself, and it's a little bit different to put it off. I will show you here. And yeah, the Gambeson don't have much damage after 3.5 years in use. There are only little holes in the first layer of the Gambeson and a little, little 
little damage to one leather stripe. The price was 100 euros back in 2017, so it is today. So you pay 100 euros and don't have additional costs. So my resume of the Gambesong, it's really good for starting sword fencing or doing LARP or reenactment. It's really good because of the low price, low costs, the good protection and the light weight. I recommend to wear it as a second armor, uh, as a second layer of armor with a gambesong chainmail or eh, not with a gambesong, <laughs> with a chainmail brigantine or steel plate above it and also for your arms and shoulders do some uh, more layers of armor above it but I don't think it's for Buhort and I recommend you build some armor attaching points yourself for arm brigantine or steel plate armor it's a huge difference with the armor attaching points it's really better than you have no armor attaching points make armor attaching points <laughs> Would I buy it again? Yes, I would buy it again. When I start sword fencing or do reenactment or LARP or Codex Belly or something, this stuff it's really good. I recommend this. For Buhut, Um I recommend a better Gambesong this is the end of my first video please like and subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss new stuff from me i linked in the description below the link for the gambeson where i order it my instagram account and my patreon there you can support me so i can bring, do reviews about new cool stuff and yeah, have a nice day.